Hey guys, Okami Girl here, and today I'll be bringing you a review of two very hard to find My Little Pony sets, G4 sets. Now, for one reason or another, these two sets never made it into any major retailer stores. I have some sneaking suspicions of why that might be the case, but I'll save those conspiracy theories for later. But I couldn't believe my eyes when I actually found these two sets. I thought I was dreaming, honestly. I thought that these really couldn't be purchased outside of AliExpress. But they do in fact exist, and I do have both sets with me, so I thought we'll take a look at them together. So the first set we'll take a look at is the Sightseeing Fun set. As you can see, the kind of theme of this set is seeing things around the world, tourism kind of thing. So the visible figures we have, we have Apple Bloom in a little cruise ship, Rarity as the Statue of Liberty, which is adorable, and also Pinkie Pie in a double-decker bus. And we have two mystery ones here that I do know what is in each of these, but we're gonna save those for the opening. Here is what the back of the box looks like. As you can see, you have the set that we have here, Sightseeing Fun, and it says down here that these best friends travel the world together. So here is the second set, the Snow Day set. It comes with five figures like the other set, two mystery figures that we'll take a look at in a second, and three visible ones. We have Equestria Girls Rarity in a little mitten, Twilight Sparkle as a snowman, which is absolutely adorable, and lastly, we have Fluttershy in an igloo. Looking at the back of the box, you can see it looks very similar to the other set, except in the bottom corner it reads, they cozy up on a cold day during their winter vacation. Well, now it's usually time for my favorite part, actually opening up the sets. However, these are Cutie Mark Cruise sets, and these are the Cutie Mark Cruise sets with the confetti gimmick. And if you don't know by now, I cannot stand the confetti. It gets absolutely everywhere and it's impossible to clean up and you'll still find pieces of confetti two years later. Ah! All jokes aside, I mean, honestly, I just really can't stand this gimmick. I don't know what they were thinking. It's just such a mess, but I will open it for you guys, just for you. Okay, let's start off with opening up the Snow Day set. Now, I believe to open these up correctly, you have to actually pull this down like so. Once you have this pulled down, you pull this out. And you have it open like this. And then you pull these tabs here. And then the confetti gets everywhere. Who? Ray. Oh. I don't even think it's possible to pull the toy out of the little hole here. You have to actually open the package up completely. And there you have it, there's the mystery. And here's the other mystery. That was only one set opened up. And look at how much confetti is already on the table here. Oh gosh, help me. Now time for the second set. Same process, let's go. Whoever designed this packaging were not very good. <laughs> there we go. Just pull this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. Oh, please. You, you know that parents were not happy having to clean all this up, buying these confetti sets for their kids. My goodness. Maybe it's a good thing that Hasbro is going to be reducing the amount of plastic they're using for G5, because this is ridiculous. Oh gosh, finally. Okay, so here are the sets finally unboxed, and we're going to start off by taking a look at the mysteries in both of the sets. We're going to start off with the Snow Day ones first, and in this one, we have Rainbow Dash. And she comes with some ice skates. So some really cute purple ice skates and a normal Rainbow Dash Cutie Mark Crew figure. She fits right in there. But even better is the figure in here. And we have, who is that? It is, dun dun dun, Smolder. This is the only way you can get Smolder in Cutie Mark Crew form or actually in any form in the toy line. So here is Smolder. She is completely translucent orange, except for her spikes at the top here. Those are a really pretty hot pink. And her little accessory she comes with is this hot cocoa mug with some marshmallows and chocolate. And it is super, super cute. It's like she kind of melted it with her dragon breath or something. 
so adorable. Moving on to the second set, let's take a look at the mysteries inside there. The first one here, we have Applejack as an Equestria girl. Here she is. And she comes with the Eiffel Tower, which I absolutely love to bits. It is adorable. Take a closer look at Applejack first. This is a standard Cutie Mark Crew Applejack. Look at this base. It is the Eiffel Tower. It is adorable. I love this so much. And the next one here we have. Ooh, look who it is. It is in her first appearance, Daring Do. She is so adorable. Look at her. She has her little outfit on and everything. She has her little cutie mark there. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this figure. She comes with a little camera as her base. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have her in my collection. She is so perfect, honestly. Starting off with the visible figures in the sightseeing fun set, we have Rarity here with the Statue of Liberty costume, which is adorable. Has the My Little Pony logo right there. It is honestly super cute. It is unfortunate though, her crown falls off very easily. It does not stay on her head very well. Taking a closer look at Rarity herself, you can see she's kind of derpy looking. She has kind of a slant in her head here. And yeah, the more I look at it, the more silly it looks. I mean, it looks like that the whole mold was just totally messed up. Interestingly though, this is a rarity with brushable hair. This is the only set you can get. This and the Snow Day set get Cutie Mark Crew figures with brushable hair. So I guess they were just trying something out. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, the hair quality is okay. It's nothing really special. It's not that much hair though. It's not like you can really do much with it. But I mean, it's there. Next up, we have Sea Pony Pinkie Pie in the double decker bus here. Sea Pony Pinkie Pie is a very standard Cutie Mark Crew figure. Nothing too special about her. Kind of the same one we've seen hundreds of times already. Now the double decker bus is honestly one of my favorite little accessory bases. It is adorable. I love the window painting detail, the My Little Pony logo on the side and the little wheels there. It is so, so stinking cute. And the last figure in this set is Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom's eyes are a little wonky on this one, unfortunately. She has an eye just kind of flying off her face there. It's kind of unfortunate, but there you have it. Uh, she does have her very, very little tiny cutie mark. Let me see if my camera can even focus in. There you go. I think you can see it there. She is translucent yellow with her translucent red hair and a solid pink bow. Very, very cute. Really, it's a shame about the eye placement there. Uh, it looks a little silly, but, you know, I, I don't think quality was the name of the game for this set. And, of course, her little accessory here is this little cruise ship. Super well detailed. Lots of little paint details, the white up here and the brown stripe at the bottom. Very cute. Not one of my favorites in the set, but still adorable. Next, we're going to take a look at the three visible figures in the Snow Day set, starting off with Rarity. Here is the Equestria Girl Rarity figure. Her base is a knitted mitten. It is so adorable. I love the texture they added to the mitten all around here. It kind of gives it a nice woven look. The Rarity figure is just your standard Equestria Girl Kitty Mark Crew figure. Nothing special there but still adorable. Next here is this super adorable Twilight Sparkle Cutie Mark Crew figure inside this little snowman base. The fact that her head just kind of sticks out and you have like the snowman body. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I just love the snowman base, the little twig arms here and the little buttons in the front. It is so cute. Twilight here is just a standard Cutie Mark Crew Twilight. Nothing too special about her, but again, she is super adorable. Last but not least, we have Fluttershy inside this little igloo. We'll take a look at the igloo first. It's a translucent plastic igloo. Very, very cute. I love the details with the ice blocks around the side here. Very cute little base. And the little Fluttershy figure, much like the Rarity figure, this one also has brushable hair. So there you go. Those are the only two figures I know in the Kitty Mark Crew line that have the brushable hair. Again, uh, if that was a good idea, I'm not really sure. Hair is not super great, uh, as I mentioned with the Rarity figure. It just kind of exists, so there you have it. However, this figure doesn't have the weird slanted forehead thing going on. 
Looks like the mold was executed a lot better for the Fluttershy compared to the Rarity. Well, before I really give my actual review conclusions, I think it's important to ask, why weren't these sets readily available? Why couldn't I not find them until two years after they were supposed to originally come out? So here's my take on what I think happened, and there are several reasons. The first one was quality control reasons. As I pointed out, there was a lot of problems with the mold on the rarity. Two, I think that Hasbro over flooded the market with Cutie Mark crew figures. And I say this because their release was super weird. You have Wave 1, which was released in, I want to say, late 2018. And after that, you had the Wave 2 that just never really showed up anywhere. And then you had Wave 3 that was absolutely everywhere. I think everyone could find the Wave 3 blind bags. And Wave 4 was rather common as well. But there was so much of the Wave 1 still around, along with the Wave 3, that I think Hasbro couldn't even get rid of the blind bags of the new waves, even if they wanted to. From what I've seen, this also occurred with the multi-pack sets as well. And it's clear Hasbro wanted to sell more of these Cutie Mark crew figures because there was a Wave 5 and a Wave 6. Has anyone actually seen or own Wave 6? If you do, please let me know, because I have never seen these, even on AliExpress. I've seen Wave 5 on AliExpress. I They're really expensive. And it's a shame because I know Zakora was released in that wave. But wave six is a total mystery. Are they going to show up like five years later in some random store? I don't know. I didn't even mention that some of the releases, the later releases, had the confetti gimmick, my favorite. But some had the normal capsules. They made two releases, the capsule version and the confetti version. So what was up with that? So yeah, I don't know, but please, if you happen to own any of the Wave 5 or Wave 6 Cutie Mark crew, let me know. And uh, particularly where you found them. If you bought them on AliExpress, that's cool. But if you found them in store, I'm like, oh my gosh, which store did you find these in? <laughs> Conspiracy theories and questioning Hasbro's logic aside, my actual thoughts on these figures, they are super, super adorable. I absolutely love, love, love the sightseeing set specifically, just because of how adorable the little accessories are. I mean, they are so cute. The Winter Day one is also very adorable as well. It is just such a shame that these did not get a wide release. Anyways, why don't you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys think to these two sets? Have you been able to find these sets in the store? And also, which of these two sets is your favorite? Anyways, Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.